We're going to start by adding in the separation between the white and the bumper here, as well as creating this um, depth here, which then goes up and back towards the outside. So to start out, we're going to create that separation. We're just going to press tab to go to edit mode. We're going to alt right click to get this whole edge loop, H to hide. Hover your mouse over this object, press L, and then press H to hide that as well, so we only have the back. Then we're going to do Control-1 for back view, Z for wireframe. And one of the first things I wanted to fix is the curvature of this. It's actually supposed to be straight here, and then it has a downward curve all the way. So if we look at ours from side view, by pressing 3 in the number pad, it's straight here, and then it continues straight, and it has a, a curve like this rather than a curve like this. So we want to fix that. This is the only part that's supposed to be straight. Then here needs to go down some, and here needs to go down some. And you can do control 1 for back view, and then you want to try to continue this, uh, this curvature down here as well. So you just want to reposition your vertices so it's more of a curve like this. And this one maybe needs to go up some to make a smoother transition. Uh, something like this, I guess, is fairly decent. So I'll probably stick with this. Now to make the separation between the bottom of the bumper and then this other piece. So this piece here, and then there's this little separation and then the bottom bumper. So to make that we're going to do control R, left click, press E, then F to make sure the red dots on the bottom and try to make it uh, the width of this as much as you think the width of this uh, separation is. Something like this is probably fine. Then go to face selection, alt right click to get this whole face loop and then press delete and choose faces so now if we look at it we've got our separation here another thing I wanted to mention is if you look at this you can kinda tell that it seems like the bumper is sticking a bit further out than the light part and I may have talked about this before but you can even see when it wraps around it looks like the bumper sticks out a bit further than the rest of it and you can even kind of see here like this is where it connects up to the side of the car is on this inside of the indent and the bumper would have to be a little bit further out for that to happen and you can kind of see it in these pictures even though they're not the best that there may be a little bit of the bumper sticking out and even on this one you can see the shadow right here there's this shadow as if this bumper was sticking out a bit so I'm going to just assume it's sticking out a bit because I think that's how it is, but it's hard to tell. A lot of the pictures that I've looked at, it's they're not the best quality, so you can't tell 100%. But I think that part of the bumper is sticking out, but I'm pretty sure the rest of it is sticking out a bit as well. So to create that um, sticking out effect, we're going to extrude this part and bring it out. But first we have this little edge here we need to get rid of, so we're going to switch to edge select. And right click on this edge then press delete and choose edges now we want to go back to face select select one of these faces press L that's gonna get all of them and we can do E to extrude right click to cancel all the ones that are facing you know this direction we want to move in this direction all the ones that are facing this direction we want to move in this direction so we're going to deselect some of these or we could first if we want to just uh, make sure the only visible faces are the the ones we've just extruded we can do shift H so these are just the faces that were extruded and now we can deselect the ones we don't want to move on the Y axis so we can do Z C for circle select and then deselect with middle mouse and right click when you're done with that so now we can bring these out some. We can bring them out a little further if we need to later. This is just to get them away from the original vertices. 
And then we want to select these over here. So just select one, C for circle select, get the rest. And just bring these out some on the X axis. Now we can do Alt H, A to D select. And we want to hide the front of the bus again. So we're going to go to vertex select, Alt right click, Alt shift right click, H to hide. Hover your mouse over the front of the bus, press L, H to hide that. L just selects the all the connected geometry. So now we have it out a bit further. You will want to try to um, match the distance. So if you moved it a little bit too far on the X axis, like it looks like I may have moved it a little bit further on the X axis here. So you may want to go back and select these faces and just bring them in slightly again to try to match the distance all the way around. And these vertices here, so you want to select this one, Z for wireframe, and middle mouse, or uh, C for circle select, left click to select all these. So select this one, C, left click, select these. Since these are kind of at a corner, we probably want to move them forward on the x-axis some, maybe back on, or forward on the, the y-axis, and back a little on the, the x-axis. Just so it has more of a, a diagonal to this angle, rather than being straight across like it was before. But again, trying to keep the same distance there. You can kind of see that we have flat shading here, so in object mode, so just press tab to go to object mode and turn on smooth shading again, that'll change the shading to what we want. So one thing I think I'm going to do is like, I want to try to bring this part closer, so as it gets towards the end of the bumper, I want to bring this closer to here. So what we can do to do that is just select all the vertices that are on this side, so select one and then shift select the rest, or you can select this one, hold control, and then right click to select all the ones in between and then just bring it closer because I think it probably gets closer as it gets to here and you can do the same with these if you want you can select these and maybe not that one just select these outer ones these three outer ones and bring it closer and you can do the same with these if you want and I may just want to bring this back on the y-axis a little too so that'll just have more of a gradual change. Another thing we're going to want to do is kind of correct the shading here. It's not the best. Like you can see, it's not the best right here. So to fix that, what we can do is if we do Control r it's not going to work. It's going to go down here. We want it to go up here instead. So we can just use the knife cut tool. So press K. And then when this is yellow on this edge, just left click and then drag it over to here, left click, drag it across all the way to the middle and then left click and then press enter. You just want to make sure it goes across all the edges here. We just created a triangle right here so what we want to do is select this one and this one. So select this one, shift select this one, alt M at center so that we merge them at the center. Alt right click, Alt and Shift right click, that's going to get this entire edge loop we just created. Press Q then E and bring it in until you're satisfied. That's going to help create this crease line at the top. Similar to how it has this crease line going across here. So that's it for that part. We're going to worry about the shading over here later. That's not something to be worried about right now. So we're going to alt right click on this to get this. We're going to do something similar except we're going to bring it in the opposite direction to create more depth to this. So we're going to do E to extrude, right click to cancel. We can do shift H so that we're only working with this part. And select this one, hold control, select this one. Again it's like all the ones that are pretty straight in this area. We're just going to bring them in on the y-axis, and then all the ones that are pretty straight, like this, we're going to select this one, control, right-click to select all these, and we're going to bring these in this direction. So all the ones that are straight, 
like this moved in the y direction all the ones that were straight like this moved in the x direction and you can still adjust the corner points if you need to but we're going to do alt h to see where we're at a to d select one of the things I did notice with this method is that right here kind of looks a little strange so you can select this back vertex and either bring it up or down you can bring this one down a little if you want just adjust those until it looks a little bit nicer like it kind of seems like these are a little bit too high up so if you take these vertices back here like these ones right here you can bring them down slightly if you want in order to make it look like it's a little bit more natural so once you've made your adjustments with that and you're happy just alt right click so we'll get this we'll e to extrude right click to cancel grab it on the z-axis hold control and snap it to this point that'll bring this up to this point and then we just have to bring it forward to create the little lip that would be here in order to match up with this so to do that we're gonna do e to extrude right click to cancel and we're gonna do z for wireframe this time we're gonna use c for circle select middle mouse to deselect and we're gonna deselect probably these vertices here then right click to get out of circle selection z to get out of wireframe grab it on the y-axis hold control and snap it to this point we still need to move the other original or the other vertices here so we're gonna alt right click to get this edge again the one that we just moved C for circle select D select all the ones that you didn't or that you you just moved so now we're left with the ones that we did not move and we can grab it on the x-axis and snap it to this point if you wanted to you could do it outside of wireframe so you can do Z first then grab it on the X and snap it to this point I think this vertex didn't really move so we can do C for circle select deselect these and bring this one forward some and maybe over some on the x-axis and all these probably can move back a little so we can select this one hold control select this one bring these back slightly just so they're hiding inside the mesh and now we're starting to get the inner um, inset part that we want another thing to look at is this back part the inset part we just made you can see it would kinda go like this because on the back it goes a little bit higher up than this point before it stops so what we want to do is actually take from here and bring this up but we also want to bring the rest of them up too so just right click to select this one Z for wireframe hold control select this one so you should have this outer edge loop here from there to this point and grab it on the Z axis and just bring it up some and you can even snap it to this bottom point if you want on the Z axis and then what we want to do is deselect this point so C for circle select middle mouse deselect if you needed to do Z for wireframe and then do C for circle select middle mouse deselect so in order to create that angle from down here to up there all we really need to do is just bring these points up and we'll get more of an angle in this area we can always adjust this later as with everything else for now we can save this go to file save we also want to create this inner part right here that goes right next to this is the door this is the part between the the door and the light there's this little strip that goes right here we still haven't created that that's why there's such a big gap right here so to do that we're gonna make sure we're in edit mode by pressing tab and it may be easier if we hide the front of the car or the front of the bus again so we're gonna do alt right click alt and shift right click H to hide that hover your mouse over this press L and then press H to hide it control 1 for back view Z for wireframe so what we want is we want this 
to be a little bit to the right of the end of the the door here so that there is a small amount of space between the two to do that we can just do control R and left click and bring it a little bit further than this door here that may be good right there I'm not sure but we'll try that and see what happens and another thing you'll notice is the door it goes up a bit and the door kind of ends a little bit higher than where the the bottom of this part is like the bottom of that part continues on to be lower than the light so wherever the light is which would be we'll just take a look at this real quick so this is where the end of the light would be it would be right here and then this needs to continue on down here so not down not to here but it needs to be actually lower than that so with this vertex selected we're going to do e to extrude right click to cancel drag it on the z-axis and then snap it to this point and then bring it just a little bit further down to make sure that it's a little bit further down than the light and then with this point selected shift select this one and continue holding shift and select this one and then these top two and then press F to make this face we'll deal with this end gone a bit later so now we have that little bit of separation between these two areas similar to how you have this little bit of separation here I'd also like to round this off a bit better as well as round this off a bit better so we're gonna press tab to go to edit mode select this vertex with right click drag it on the z-axis hold control and snap it to this point then we can get rid of this point by selecting it and then shift selecting this one alt M at last this will bring it back to basically the way that it was when it started. Another thing we want to do is try to make the, the distance here and here the same as this. So what we can do is select this vertex, hold control, select this middle, middle vertex. So you should have all three of these. And just bring it down slightly until you have a similar distance here and here. Probably need to bring mine down a little bit more. You could even, if you wanted to, bring these other two down and snap them to that point so that they have a similar value but I think maybe I need to bring this down a little bit further still until I have a good distance and then we're gonna do we're gonna do a bevel on both of these points but in order to do that it's gonna be easier if we go to edge select and get rid of these two edges because without or with these two edges being here it's not gonna work the way we want it to so we're just gonna do delete and choose edges Go back to vertex select, select these two vertices, just uh, select one, hold shift, select the other. Control, shift and B to do a vertex bevel, mouse wheel up once and that'll do three edges or three vertices. You could do four if you wanted to have a nicer look to it, but three might be okay from a distance and this is supposed to be a lower poly model anyway but you just want to try to make it a similar curve to how to how this is so it's not too tight of a curve we may even want to do a little bit more than that so we can do control Z control shift B and you can make it more like this even though it's gonna look a little more jagged since it's a bigger curve now with the same amount of vertices but you could always add one more vertex like I said you just when you do control shift B just mouse wheel up and it will add an extra vertex if you want four mouse wheel up twice and you'll have four here so now we have to fill in this area again we're gonna use some triangles so we're gonna select these four we're gonna press F we're gonna select these four and then we're gonna press F and select these three press F select these three press F and select these two and this one and then these bottom two and press F and that will fill that in there are some triangles there's an end gone here that's fine for now these triangles will probably stay there this we can fix uh, we can even do that now we can just uh, use K for the knife cut tool left click here 
drag it over to about here, left click again. I just tried to keep the similar uh, continuation of this curve and then press enter. You can always adjust this point by left clicking it, or right clicking it I mean, and then bringing it up a little bit to make that curve a bit smoother. So that's going to be the basic shape. We still have a little bit more detail to add. One thing I wanted to do down here, you can see the shading is not the best. So in order to fix that, we could uh, we could do Control R and add a loop cut down here as well as a loop cut up here. But we could also go to Face Select, Alt Right Click on this, and then do I and then B, and drag it until it's not quite at the end give a little distance so you should still have a little bit of distance between the bottom and the same at the top doing it as an inset just make sure that the distance here is going to be the same as the distance here so that you don't have uh, differences in your edge loops and in, in terms of how close they are to their to the other edge loop it's just more accurate as far as prox as far as um, the distance goes. So it's the same. It's going to be the same result with just a more consistent uh, use of edge loops. Is all that did. You could have just done Control R if you wanted to, and it would have done the same thing. But now we have a better looking back, still with some work to do. Don't worry about the side. We'll we'll deal with the side in a little bit. So we're going to save it, just go to File and Save. 